A lot of blocks to the information and some craziness happening in the world. So let's get into it for the week beginning December 2nd, 2019. Hey guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 2nd, 2019. There is a major storm going on outside. I don't think you're going to hear it on the mic, but if you see me jump because <laughs> it sounds like the whole building's falling down, that's what's going on, all right? Now, I did start off this video saying that there's been some blockages to the information and we're going to talk about that, uh, but also that there are some crazy things going on in the world. As of the recording of this, the London attack just happened earlier today. So as always, my love, prayers, anything that I can offer energetically because there's nothing I can do physically, um, but my love to everybody who is involved with that. What I'm going to do for this message is that I'm just going to sit here, I'm going to listen to some messages, and I'm going to talk it out. If you are someone who is new to my channel, thank you for being here, and thank you everybody for hitting that subscribe button. That helps out quite a bit. And if you want to be notified when I make new content, you can hit the notification bell, okay? I'm also going to be doing some Vlogmas coming up starting December 1st, but we'll get into that a little bit more later. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to sit here, I'm going to talk, that's what I do, I'm going to channel a message. I'm going to give it to you. I don't know that it'll be a full body channel today. And then I will do some cards. People seem to be a little confused about how these readings go. <laughs> okay. But let me just tune in here because um, first and foremost, I guess I should explain this part about the blocking of the message. I've been trying to film this video uh, for a couple of days now, and it's just been one obstacle after another. Even today, I sat down uh, to do this and I've noticed a lot of the comments coming through. This is a great study in where we are mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And uh, I'm seeing a lot of people just wanting to fight against things that the angels are trying to get us to understand. Remember, these are very expansive beings that have been there for a very long time. They have been waiting for humanity to be ready for some of the messages. Uh, some of us have stepped up and said, Hey, sure. I'll take that on. <laughs> Not stepped up, but you know what I mean? We, we've come forward and said, Hey, I'll, I'll volunteer for that job. And, uh, now we're putting that information out there and people just want to make fun of it. They want to diminish it. Um, one of the things, I mean, guys, I've heard it all in the past few days. I had someone call me a demonic prostitute because I had fake nails on and fake lashes. Um, I've had people tell me that, I'm being narcissistic. That is totally something a narcissist would say. So keep an eye out for that. You know, I'm not a psychologist. I have to say that every single time. Um, and I think most psychologists will tell you that things like narcissism, you know, sociopathy, psychopathy, that it's extremely rare. From a spiritual standpoint, that is not the case. Okay. Again, I'm not a psychologist. They base their um, stuff on case studies and research and all that good stuff. But how would you know if someone's a narcissist, really, if they won't come for help? How can you really get an accurate count? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They don't necessarily come forward and say, hey, can I, can I be better now, please, as far as I understand it, right? So there, there's been a lot of darkness kind of surfacing. Now, I said in the 2020 videos that there would be sort of a density blast. And I, I think this is what we're seeing now. So if you're going to listen to this message, I ask that you do so with an open heart and open mind. If you are one of those people who just want to um, tear people down, okay, um, I, you're not going to be tolerated here. <laughs> you're just not going to be tolerated. I, I do want to talk about this too, because this is a part of the message. The other thing that has come up that they're wanting me to bring forward is that people's egos have really been sparked where, you know, um, a video that's taken off on YouTube for whatever reason, I don't know why, but it did, is um, you know how you know if you're part angel. Now, part angel is like, so to speak, having an angelic strain, having a connection with the angels, having angelic energy. And people really started going, I knew I was an incarnated archangel. I knew I was something special. I knew I was this, that, and the other. That's not what we're talking about, okay? So that's part of that density blast too that I think will be a giant theme. So having said that, let's get on. I'm going to be quiet here <laughs> and let's see what else is going on here.
Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're talking to me about the conversation that <laughs> sounds crazy, but like conversation we had earlier. Um, you know, angels, people always want to know what these angelic beings are. And that's one of the other things that is a great study and seeing how people react in the comments section. People will come from the book of Enoch or the Bible or, you know, whatever. They just come in and go, the Bible says this or the book of Enoch says that about angels and you're not correct about that. And earlier I was having a little communication because I'm finding it harder and harder to explain things in human terms. These are very, you know, the angels are, they're helpers, they're guardians, they're, you know, they're not to be worshipped. We've said that and people don't get it. They're not to be worshipped, all right? In the sense that we are all one soul, they're a part of us and we are a part of them. However, they are a different expression, okay? And they are so expansive. There are going to be people who really their egos start flaring up and they're going to come in and try to be experts on angels. Watch the comments, Watch the comments. If you're watching this and you're one of those people who are like, this woman doesn't know what she's talking about, let me school you on what angels are all about. Let me just extend my gratitude for helping us learn, okay? And not learn your expertise about angels, but how the ego mind works. It's a great study. These beings are so expansive, and there are parts of us that are so expansive that human words can never touch the true essence of what they are. <sighs> Now, when I tune in to angels, I don't get a very humanistic <laughs> viewpoint. It feels, um, again, there are no words. So this is going to make my job even harder the, the more we get closer to 2020 and beyond. Um, I have an experience. And I do see things. I will hear them very, very clearly. They're very good at coming in and helping to speak in my language in a way. Um, but I'm speaking more towards when people ask me what angels are. <laughs> um, I see the light. I see the universe. I see infinity. And uh, yeah, they wanted me to share that with you because I think maybe that's like been a question that a lot of you have been coming up with. And this is part of what we're going to be seeing, the rumblings in the world. We had a very tragic thing happened today. I believe it was in London. Um, again, I saw it on Twitter and then I was sitting down to record. I didn't get a whole lot of the um, information. I don't like reading that stuff right before I sit down. I want to extend my love to people who are involved, but you know, but we're going to see a lot of people who it's hard to talk about. Um, they've gone through so much. We're not, I've said this many times before. We are not careful with children. We are not careful enough with children. We don't treat them as the precious beings that they are. And I'm not talking about treating them. I've seen parents go way the other way to ruin their kids by um, putting them on a pedestal, telling them they can do no wrong. You're the little prince, the little princess. You know, we're not talking about that. We're talking about honoring these, especially the ones that are being born in now, honoring these little souls and really paying attention and, and being careful with them, not screaming in front of them. Certainly don't scream at them. I mean, kids are smart. You know, you tell them, uh, you know, okay, listen, hey, yo, like, you know, you're probably going to be like, hey, I got a kid that does not listen to me, <laughs> right? But I'm, what I'm saying is it's like yelling um, like in a threatening way. Does that make sense? We, we don't want the children to feel scared because they're here to help us. And we made that mistake with the indigo generation. I've talked about this before too, and they're wanting me to bring this back up, where we put them on a pedestal and we saw in some sense where the indigos, there was a lot of pressure put on them to kind of come in and save the world. And then we saw some of them go right off, right off, uh, off the field. I don't know. Like they just, <laughs> they went off the rails and they started to get, they started to really indulge in their egos and then they weren't helping at all. Watch the comments watch the comments. You want to see what I'm talking about? Watch the comments. So we need to be careful with the children. The reason why we're bringing that up is because what ends up happening is when these children are taught that the world is something to be feared, that people are something to be feared. Uh, it's, it's like they're showing me like cutting their wiring. Yes. And so they're not at full capacity. And so there's this lack of realization of their light. And then it starts to come into not caring about other people, 
not, um, you know, just, well, unfortunately, our society honors narcissists so much. You guys know I talk about that a lot. Uh, I've come into this life experiencing narcissistic abuse, so I will spend my dying breath warning people about that energy and about, you know, don't fall for it, basically. But it's a big passion of mine to make sure that people who might have codependent tendencies don't fall into and become food for someone who might be a cluster B personality disorder type person. Again, I'm not a psychologist. Um, so they're, they're showing me that these people then become adults and they don't realize their precious light. Roll your eyes if you want to. I'll say it again. They don't realize their own precious light. And so they start living by the ego rules, which is you climb the, the corporate ladder. Just as an example, poor people in corporations, you're not all evil. And I know that. <laughs> we all like to use that as an example, right? Um, we've had, we have tons of people who uh, take the same approach in the spiritual community. Okay, the spiritual community on YouTube, I'll say it right out, is dirtier than the beauty industry. They're just faker about it. Is that a word? They're more fake about it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but they're very competitive and um, not very nice. I don't have, well, I have a couple of people that <laughs> I've spoken to and who uh, I, I adore and, and what have you, but not many, not many. Why is that? Well, we get taught right? This is something you got to listen to because this is not just this week. It goes beyond because we're coming right up on 2020. Welcome to the 20s. <laughs> the 20s. All right. This is going to be really imperative because we're going to see more um, people having freak out moments and harming others. I was just watching an episode with uh, Greg Brain. I think it was Missing Links on Gaia. He was saying something about um, how we don't, humans are kind of taught not to value life. And we don't protect that which we, we don't value. And so we see this as evidenced in uh, violence to pump up the, the quote-unquote excitement of a movie, for example. Right? Uh, we don't honor the life on Earth, Earth itself. Right? This, yeah, they're, they're, when I look down, I'm sorry, I know that's a little, it's like a YouTube no-no, but... <laughs> I have to get the messages somehow, so this is how I'm kind of comfortable. But um, go ahead, say that again, please. Mm. So they're not they're not animated by the by the I hate to say right energy. They're they're not animated by light energy. Remember, we teach our children to hate. We teach our children that through our own actions, through you know making things their problem when it shouldn't be. Oh, honey, I don't know how I'm going to put food on the table. Listen, I grew up not having a whole lot. I mean, we had enough, certainly. Um, but that's not something the kids need to worry about. All right. Um, that's an adult issue. I know I'll probably get a lot of, a lot of hate for that, saying that, but that's okay. Uh, we need to protect the kids. It needs to be said. But what, what they're saying is, is that people don't, um, they, they get animated by a darker, it's not even dark. It's just dead. It's a, like a dead energy. It's like a false electricity going through people. And so when you question, how could someone be so cruel? Who could be cruel to a child? I agree with you. Who could be cruel to an animal? I know. Who could go out and do such horrific things and not even care? That's how. They're offline with themselves. All the wires got snipped at some point. I'm not a psychologist. Check with an expert if you need to, okay? I'm, I'm not diminishing therapy or anything like that. I believe in that. I think you need to treat the mental body with the physical body, with your spiritual body, all that good stuff. But we're seeing too much of it. And if you think you have found a safe haven within the spiritual community, careful. There are sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissists <laughs> here too. Like I said, the community here on YouTube is probably worse than the beauty community. We're just quieter about it. So you have to start, start this week with sort of checking yourself. Where do you judge people? That has been a huge thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Again, 
use the comments. Use the comments as kind of a study. Uh, people judging, uh, coming forward and trying to, you know, let's use that uh, YouTube video comment thing as an example. In my videos, they'll come and try to poke at me. And I am doing this new thing. Well, I've always kind of done this where I come back at people. You've always been trained to let it go, haven't you? Isn't that convenient? Never set a boundary. Oh, well, if you were truly angelic, if you were truly spiritual, you would just let people walk all over you. And that is how spiritual people end up getting taken by false gurus. That's how we end up getting taken, you know, even if you are a reader yourself, that's how you end up uh, falling in with somebody who thinks that they're just going to come in and siphon off your energy. They're going to come in and tear you down and they don't have to suffer any consequences. Here's the thing. The conventional wisdom is that if you just let it go, yeah, pick your battles, 100%, 100%. But what I've told people before is like when I come back at somebody, it's not taking any of my energy. It's not. I'm just, I'm making a point. Remember, I'm a reflector. <laughs> I'm doing my job. So leave me alone, all right? But um, nine times out of 10, the person doesn't say any more to me. They just leave it because I showed them, like, I see you. And they get scared because they see that they are transparent, Okay, I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Am I saying every person should respond that way? No, but if you're living your life, let's say in this coming week, you're living your life and you feel the need, like someone's just really down on you and you feel the need to stand up for yourself. Do not let people tell you you are not allowed to speak up for yourself. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right. So there's a lot of things that we're going to be witnessing in this coming week. So checking yourself, seeing where you're being really judgmental, um, seeing where you're wanting to tear somebody else down. All right. So and also, you know, being mindful of the people that are around. Who are the people? <laughs> you probably do this with me, too, but like, <laughs> it's fine. But, you know, who are the people that you listen to? There's some really amazing people out there. Now, we were talking about Greg Braden. I've never met him, but he just seems like an amazing person. He just seems like he has a great energy. I would love to meet him one day. I've got to see him. I've seen him speak before, but, uh, and I just, I just love his style. I love how he presents information. I think it's amazing what he's doing. Um, but, you know, so you have the good people out there. Then you have some other people that you're like, okay, well, that proved to be a false guru. Look at what happened, right? The false gurus... This is going to be some kind of some kind of way for us this week. I don't know what this means or why it's coming up, but we trust it. And we're just going to put it out there. Take it for what it's worth. Um, you might find that you're being like you're never allowed to have an emotion around certain people. Now, this could be somebody. It does feel like it's someone who's in power. <sighs> so never being allowed to tell <laughs> like maybe your boss like, hey, <laughs> you keep making more work for me. I had a boss who did that. She thought she knew everything. And oh my God, the way she wanted me to do things, like, this is going to take me 20 years. Uh, that's not how people do it. Not since probably about 1972, I'm guessing. I wasn't born then, but you know. So we're going to be seeing how we're taking stock of the people around us and who we look up to. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I, hmm, how shall I say that, guys? <laughs> it's house cleaning. It's house cleaning. It's, it's not looking at others as the cause of your problems. However, <laughs> uh, taking an honest assessment, there could be like complete, we've gotten this message before, but like complete turnabouts where people you thought were like, oh, I got to stay away from them because I don't like how they dress. I don't like their tattoos. Ooh, they're tattooed, you know, like, again, the demonic prostitute comment towards me because I had false nails. Can you imagine if I had tattoos? Whew. Oh my God. <laughs> That'd be crazy, right? Um, you know, you might be looking at somebody and going, oh, they're dark. Because somebody told you that if somebody wears red lipstick, that makes them some kind of way. Follow me here, okay? Hey, or hang with me, I should say. Because <laughs> I'm going somewhere with this. So you're going to really be opening your eyes and going, whoa, what is my conditioning? What is my auto response to things? How have I judged? Right? And opening up a little bit. So don't be surprised if you have some severe turnabouts with people that you, you know, maybe they were always telling you that 
you, if you're going to be spiritual, then you have to do X, Y, and Z. Um, I've given this example numerous times, but when I first started my YouTube channel, I was told that if I wasn't Doreen Virtue certified, then I was not worth doing this work. And if I didn't read the Bible cover to cover, then I couldn't speak about angels. And if I didn't know the book of Enoch, I couldn't speak about angels. If I didn't know, you know, it went on and on and on. It was just, and I just came to the table, not, you know, I, I knew what was happening. I knew that I was talking to angels and I knew I had to do it in my own way. I knew I had to be very, very human because that's part of what I'm to experience here, but nobody would give me room to do it. I even had another YouTuber who at the time, if we're talking numbers, hang with me here. If we're talking numbers, I think I had like 20,000 subscribers at this point. This person had 356 subscribers. So uh, they were just kind of getting started and I had been on YouTube for a bit. But this person came forward and said, I can show you how to do your YouTube channel. <laughs> I know. I can show you how to do your YouTube channel. Um, I'm a tarot reader. I can teach you how to read tarot. What you're doing there with those little oracle cards, that's just a gateway to tarot. Everybody knows that. It was this whole diminishment Okay, so the reason why I'm giving that example is I want you to look at places in your life where you're going to wake up to this. You're going to wake up to the people who don't have your best interests at heart. Okay, okay. <laughs> I hope that was uh, understandable. All right, so let's get some cards going here. I'm going to let you know right now, I think I'm going to go right into filming next week's video because... <sighs> I had so much difficulty to because the messages are going to get deeper. They're going to get maybe they're hard for me to understand too, guys. I'm right there with you. Um, they're going to get a little more in depth. <laughs> and so I, I just don't want to run into the same obstacles next week that I did this week trying to sit down and get it done. So maybe I'll film, oops, the next one. Okay, so I had to, I dropped the card, so I had to go down and get it. It's Libyan Gold Tectite Manifestation. I'm going to hold it up right there for you. There we go. Now, when we're talking about all of these messages and we're talking in terms of manifestation, we've, we're, hi, focus, hi, <laughs> I'm back. Um, we've talked in terms before about um, people taking kind of a very shallow approach to manifesting. This is the kind of manifestation lesson where we realize that as a collective, you know, all the humans on this planet, we have manifested everything. Yep, that's what they're saying. We've manifested everything. And there needs to come a turning point where we start realizing that we have to change how we feel about ourselves, about being human. Okay, we're seeing some how we feel about our earth and appreciating the earth, you know, that sort of thing. We're starting to see a little bit of a change around this, especially when it comes to like, let's say standards of beauty, right? Much more accepting now than it once was. I've always been overweight. Um, when I was growing up, if I, I wasn't allowed to wear shorts. Let me say that again. I wasn't allowed to wear shorts because I was a fat girl. <laughs> And I remember seeing just a couple of years ago, I saw a young woman wearing shorts and she was a larger woman herself. And she was just being her and just living life and not caring about all of these like hateful people coming out and saying, oh, you're disgusting. You can control that. Dare to leave a comment about that. <laughs> You guys want to see me <laughs> have some Scorpio? Come on out. Mm. You know, I won't tolerate people being hateful towards other people. I won't, won't have it. Not on my platform. You can go elsewhere with that nonsense. I said it. Uh, <laughs> she feisty. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I, it, that's what I'm getting at here. Like standards have changed. And so we're getting less, some people are going to really disagree with this in some sense. We're getting slightly less cruel. <laughs> and then in other ways, it's just coming out even bigger. So I don't know. We got a lot to figure out here, but watch what we're manifesting as a collective. Now, do not let your, your ego take off with this. Please, please don't do that. All right. Uh, this isn't about like, oh, I knew I was special. I knew that, you know, I'm here to save the earth. And uh, again, I say it all the time, but that's so 2012 of us. All right? <laughs> It's actually, there's not one person on this earth that's any more special than another. We all have our different experiences. That's the angelic strain video that I was talking about. Um, 
you know, people are leaving comments saying that I was putting myself on a pedestal just because I was talking about the experience of being like an angelic empath. <sighs> what? That's usually someone who's triggered because they feel less than. I never said that. They're thinking that for themselves, right? So this, these are all things that we're going to start learning and you're really going to have to pay attention to the energy you're putting out into the world. Is it one of judgment? Is it one of, and I'll admit, I can be very judgmental. You know why? I'm scared. <laughs> I'll admit it. I'm scared sometimes. Yeah. And so um, I want to, I want to try to like pinpoint what I see as a potential threat. Like, oh wait, that, that person, they look like they could be mean. They, I bet they're a mean person. And I, I'm human. Everybody calm down. I'm human. So I have to catch myself too. That's all part of what we're getting prepped for for 2020. Okay. The next card we have here is selenite, which is a very angelic type crystal, uh, spiritual awakening. So yes, we're starting to have this spiritual awareness, this, let me do it like that, <laughs> this understanding and clearing the way for a higher existence. Hmm. Let's talk about that. So that does not mean that being human and having human experiences is bad. We've been taught this through religion, quite often, right? You're not supposed to have sex. You're not supposed to have fake nails, apparently. I don't know, um, which I don't. Am I holy now? I have fake lashes on, but whatever. <laughs> you get what I'm going for here. So we've been taught that being human and our human instincts are terrible. And that is definitely not the case. And I think this is like this higher wisdom, uh, trying to access that and trying to let, you don't even have to access it. They're saying just allow just allow it to come forward because they're saying a lot of us that wisdom, especially in recent times, I would even dare say in this year, this has been happening for a lot of people. And what we do is we get a little, it feels confusing. It feels a little like unfamiliar. And so we shut it down, right? We shut it down so we don't have to deal with it because we have our day-to-day -day lives to contend with. So this is uh, asking you to basically the spiritual awakening is saying, don't, don't run away from the knowledge that's coming to you. Don't be scared and don't try to jump to conclusions. Don't do that human thing where we try to make everything into a nice, neat little story. Yeah, here we go. We have kyanite blue. Again, these cards, I don't know why this is called kyanite blue. I always just call it blue kyanite, blah, whatever. Uh, letting go. <laughs> so we're letting go of that old way. And kyanite, actually, when you hold it, helps clear all your chakras. Okay, so just a little tidbit on that. So this is a big week of letting go of what you think you know, um, your agendas. Yes. Oof. Oof. People who get so self-righteous about how they believe and, you know, whether it's politics or religion or any kind of belief system for that matter. Um, you know, people who are spiritual can be just as dogmatic as people who are religious, right? The people you're trying to fight against, you're starting to become just like them. So a lot of awareness. It could be uncomfortable. Maybe listening to this video has been uncomfortable. You know, that's the kind of energy you're going to have to get ready for. But it's all good. Here, look. We have Malachite healing. So we're going somewhere with this. It's leading to something, <laughs> all right? So allow the healing to occur. Now, whenever a healing card comes up, immediately everyone is like, oh, I have to heal from that relationship. Oh, I have to heal from my family. I have to heal from, blah, you know, blah, 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 blah. You're going to put in anything right there. So what we're really talking about here is healing the collective soul. So the earth collective soul, the connection with Gaia. We are of her, okay? Uh, so healing all of that. I'm thinking of uh, the plastics in the oceans, and uh, I don't know why that just came up, but it did. I don't know. So if you're still out there, you know, again, we don't want the whole self-righteousness thing. But if you're still out there using eight plastic bottles a day, right, maybe invest in a reusable cup. I knew I was going to be doing Vlogmas, so I invested in a few cups because I knew I was going to be going through them. And, you know, if I'm going to have you guys following me around for a couple of days or it's more than a couple of days. It's going to be from December 1st to December 25th. So, um, you know, it, it's, that's just an example. So us be more aware. And if you are getting impatient, boom, here you go. I'm gonna call you out right now. If you're getting impatient, if you think, oh my God, you talk too much, boy, you are in, <laughs> Oof. 
go, go see my other videos. Okay. Or go check out somebody else, but help yourself. Okay. Help yourself. Cause you don't want this to be something that just comes and knocks you. Okay. <laughs> as I knock things around. So we're gonna get on to the color card. I will announce, yes, I do personal readings. Again, I have a lot of new subscribers here. So hi guys, I do personal readings. Please make sure that when you go to my website, angelsouls444.com, you follow the instructions. Uh, you know, I always know when my channel is taking a surge because I get people who come in, they purchase the readings and then they start telling me, you're going to call me and you're going to use this deck and you're going to do this and you're going to do that. And I'm doing none of it. All right. I have all of how I approach personal readings listed on my website. You're either down for it or you're not. <laughs> all right. So I, there you go. That's the long and short of it. And there is a bit of a wait time. The end of the year is when things start to pick up. It's not terrible. Um, but just be aware of that. Okay. So angelsouls444.com for personal readings, uh, gumroad.com for courses. I will probably be discontinuing Teachable very soon. So just be aware of that. Okay. So if you haven't watched, if you purchased a course and you haven't watched it yet, make sure you do. Um, I'm not sure if Teachable allows you to download the course. If you want to download it and it's not letting you and you have your receipt from having purchased it on Teachable, just let me know. We can get you access to the Gumroad. Gumroad lets you download it. Okay. So the color card is Auburn. Ground yourself. The number is 11. I want to share something here. This is exactly what we're talking about in this coming week and beyond. I was at a restaurant and here's the card. I met a woman who told me very proudly and very self-righteously that she is an 1111 person. And then she says to me, you know what that means, right? Okay, well, I don't know everything, so what's an 1111 person? And she started to look at me as if I wasn't worthy enough of an explanation. And when she got up, her husband was sitting there, and I just, I looked at him, I'm like, do you know what an 1111 person is? And he goes, I don't know, she just says that all the time. <laughs> and I was like, I'm a spiritual practitioner, I've never heard of that. That to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you're like, no, Michelle, that comes from da 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 da, this is something maybe I just haven't been exposed to. It's not my job to know everything um, having to do with spirit. I've got my little thing that I'm doing and that's it. That's my job. Right. So, um, but when I, when he started talking to me about it, he goes, is there such a thing as an 11, 11 person? I'm like, I've never heard of it. Never heard of it in my life. And I think this was just something, um, I believe she told me that she got a psychic reading one time and the psychic told her that she was an 11, 11 person. And boy, that just pumped up her ego so much that she was just out there living for this. So these are the kinds of things when we talk about being grounded and 11 is a call to ascension, that spiritual awakening goes right in with that selenite card. When we talk about this, it has to be done in a very grounded way, not in a way that is trying to put yourself above others, because here's what you ain't going to get away with it. Nope. We are evolving and maturing and we are going to start not just, you know, from the intellect, noticing things and going, Oh, clocking that I'm getting out of this situation. <laughs> Not, not necessarily just in that way, but feeling the whole experience when you're around somebody. And you'll even be able to eventually, if you, if you aren't already doing this, you'll be able to kind of tap into why they're behaving the way that they are. Okay. I never encourage people to invade people's energy without their permission. But if somebody is hurting and they want someone to understand them, you can feel what's happened to them because they're open right? In a way they're giving permission. So we can go on and on about this. We'll talk in circles about it, but <laughs> let's just leave it there for now. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. <laughs>